greatest adventure is what lies ahead. Today and tomorrow are yet to be said. Hello everyone, no one of consequence here, back again with a new video. This is episode 34 in a series which recounts my ongoing Dungeons and Dragons campaign, which is now at its ninth year. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button at the end. So as always, spoiler alert, in this video I will be revealing details found in this adventure module. And this video will also cover some details found in this uh, fan-made add-on to the adventure module stating in the hill giant chief and if uh, you want to get a copy of this for yourself it's a free download at the greyhawk grognard site so as a reminder this is the current composition of the adventuring party and where we left off last time the characters had just finished up uh, attacking the Hill Giant feasting celebration and the very last surviving giants were the stone giants here which the characters chased down and defeated which uh, brought an end to that battle. Um, once the battle was over, you recall from last video, all of the uh, orcs that were helping the characters, the uh, orcs immediately began a riotous victory celebration taking advantage of all the food and drink sitting around on the giant's tables in the feasting hall. And so the uh, characters, wanting to avoid any trouble, went back around to the kitchen area and went back down to the dungeon level and found an out-of-the-way spot to rest for the remainder of the night so that they could uh, heal and recover spells. So the next day, the uh, characters, instead of going back upstairs, they went back to that uh, pool of water that they had found the night before, and which you may remember uh, Varys went swimming around in. So they went back to that chamber, and the uh, engineer NPC who had been held prisoner was with the characters. And uh, he stayed behind, and the other characters went swimming through that same tunnel that Varys had gone swimming in before. And he, they all emerged into that natural cavern that Varys had found. And all of that's shown here in this screenshot. And the uh, characters climbed up on shore and soon noticed a bunch of bones lying about on the ground. And about that same time, a carrion crawler came out of the darkness to the north and uh, began attacking the characters. And no sooner was that first crawler defeated when another one showed up and began attacking the party. And you can see here while they were fighting, uh, Gorbadoc the halfling rolled a fumble and ended up doing damage to uh, one of his friends. I don't remember now which one it was. But uh, you can see that result in the chat window. And they finally, uh, despite the fumble, managed to defeat that second crawler. So after uh, defeating them, the characters explored in the direction they had come from, and they found a hole in the cavern floor. So, as usual, uh, Varys volunteered to go down the hole and see what might be there. So, the characters tied off a rope and lowered him uh, down. And on this deeper level, he found a carrion crawler nesting ground. And he saw several victims of the crawlers and their eggs deposited about. And uh, so, Varys called back up for help. And Obrak soon arrived. And together... They began smashing the eggs, but then this noise attracted yet another carrion crawler, which you can see Obrak fighting there. So, uh, seeing that more crawlers were approaching, the rest of the party climbed down the rope to help out. You can see them appearing there in the uh, upper left-hand corner. Uh, everyone except for Thoral, he stayed up on that upper level. 
So the uh, characters continued smashing the carrion crawler eggs and also fighting them at the same time. But uh, all of this activity attracted still more of the crawlers, which you can see approaching out of the darkness to the south. So uh, finally, the carrion crawlers were all defeated, and so the character explored in the direction they were coming from. And the tunnel soon opened up into a large cavern, which had a damp, earthy smell to it. And there were uh, piles of uh, dirt and debris scattered about with large mushrooms growing out of them. Then in the uh, far southwest corner of this chamber, there is a old wooden ladder standing on the ground and extending up into the darkness above. And so uh, Varys started to climb up the ladder with Garrett holding it steady, but then a neo Atiug exploded out of the big pile of debris and uh, began attacking the characters. They eventually uh, were able to defeat that monster after uh, taking some more damage. And once it was gone, then they were free to go ahead and explore the ladder, see where it led back up to. And it uh, went back up into the Hill Giant's uh, dungeon level. And uh, specifically, it came out in the uh, Orc Rebel cave hideout where the characters had previously been. But uh, now all of the orcs were gone. The place was deserted. So the characters made their way back to that room where they had left Hammond and, and by the side of the pool. And uh, when they got there, they also saw that uh, Thoral had returned to that place as well. So they got everyone back together again. And after that, the characters return to the orc hideout and you may remember a couple of episodes back there was a sealed door that they passed by and uh, that previously I don't remember if I mentioned it in the video at that time but the orc rebels had told them that they had sealed off that door because there was an evil shrine concealed behind it so of course the characters uh, broke open the door went inside and uh, they went down a narrow diagonal hallway which uh, led to an open room with uh, strange carvings in the stonework. They uh, also found a partially collapsed room that uh, contained a portal which looked very much like the one that they had seen at the very bottom level of the Temple of Elemental Evil. However, uh, this portal appeared to be malfunctioning in some way, and uh, they were not able to interact with it in any way. So, leaving that, they went back out to the main chamber and continued exploring further to the west in it, and uh, they found a stone altar that gave off a faint purplish glow. They tried various spells and even physical blows but nothing seemed to affect the altar. Then at one point, Nayo stepped into the alcove behind the altar, and as soon as she did that, uh, I forgot to get a screenshot of it, but these large purple-colored tentacles extended from the walls and began to wrap around her, trying to pull her into the wall. So, uh, of course, the other characters uh, sprang into action to help her... Uh, get free of the tentacles and they managed to d cut through and destroy the tentacles and as soon as they did then the altar itself uh, stopped glowing and it cracked and crumbled and uh, for all appearances was no longer functional. All right, well, short video, but that's all I have for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, share the video anywhere you think others will like it. 
And anything you can do to help support the channel, I appreciate it. Thanks again. Bye for now. The greatest adventure is what